Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. So here is an important recruitment notification from Indian Navy dear students. So here, in order to see this notification, you can go for https colon double slash www.joinindiannavy.gov.in slash hash. So that is what is given here. So you can see the scrolling here in the officers category. I'll just show you. Okay. So here you can observe online application window for SSC various entries Jan 27 course will be live from 24th January to 24th February 2026 and here if you click on download advertisement the advertisement will be downloaded. So here you can observe apply online from 24th January 2026 and last date of online application is 24th February 2026. So that is given here. So you can go through the details so be btec in any discipline so let me show you here so executive branch hydro cadre be btec in any discipline with minimum 60 percent marks total number of vacancies you can observe 76 including six hydro men and women maximum of 10 vacancies in gsx and one vacancy in hydro for women okay so here the date of births are also given dear students. So you should be born in between 2nd January 2002 to 1st July 2007. Okay. So this is what is the eligibility criteria that is given for this first position. So then you can go for the next part pilot naval air operations officer observers air traffic controller ATC. So BE BTEC in any discipline with minimum 60% marks. Candidate must have 60% aggregate marks in class 10 and 12 and minimum 60% marks in English in class 10 and class 12. So here the number of vacancies respectively you can observe for pilot 25 vacancies are there, naval air operations officer 20 vacancies and air traffic control 18 vacancies are there and age limit. So you can observe here carefully 2nd January 2003 to 1st January 2008 that is what is given for the first two. So then 2nd January 2002 to 1st January 2006 that is given for air traffic controller position. Then logistics BE BTEC in any discipline with first class or MBA with first class or BSc BCom BSc IT with first class along with PG diploma in finance logistics supply chain management material management or MCA, MSc, first IT with first class. So 10 vacancies are there here. So born between 2nd January 2002 to 1st January 2007. Sorry, 1st June 2007. That is the criteria given. So then in education department, BE, BTEC with minimum 60% marks in mechanical production engineering. BE, BTEC, MTEC with minimum 60% marks in computer science engineering. So BE, BTEC in any sorry MSc MCA with minimum 60% marks in max operational research all this information is given so then engineering branch general service BE BTEC with minimum 60% marks in the following streams marine aerospace metallurgy mechatronics automobiles instrumentation submarine tech engineering so BE BTEC with minimum 60% marks in the following streams production engineering Control Engineering, Aeronautical Engineering, Industrial Engineering and Management, Instrumentation and Control, Mechanical, Mechanical with Automation. So for the first one, Engineering Branch, 42 vacancies are there. Then Submarine Tech Engineering, 8 vacancies are there. So Men and Women, maximum of 7 vacancies for women is given here. So 2nd January 2002 to 1st July 2007 is the age limit that is given. So then... You have electrical branch, submarine tech, electrical. So for that BE, BTEC with minimum 60% marks in following streams, electrical, electronics, instrumentation, telecommunication, power electronics, power engineering. So all this is given. So kindly go through that carefully, dear students. Almost 46 vacancies are there. And age limit is between 2nd January 2002 to 1st July 2007. You should be born in between these two dates, dear students. So vacancies mentioned in para 2 are tentative and may be changed depending upon the availability of the training slots. Only one application can be filled by a candidate. In case of multiple applications, candidature will be cancelled. 
So that is the information that is given dear students. So here you can see candidates having government of India Ministry of Shipping and Transport certificate of competency foreign going either as a second mate, mate or master and born between 2nd January 1997 to 1st July 2007 both dates inclusive can apply for executive branch entry general service as per stipulation stated on para 2 1 that is what is the information given so some more information for NCC candidates all this is given kindly go through this information carefully so who can apply candidates who have graduated post graduated or in the final year so this is important dear students who are in the final year with minimum 60 percent marks in aggregate or equivalent CGPA the university for the above mentioned should be incorporated by an act of central or state legislature in India or other educational institutions established by an act of parliament or declared to be deemed as universities or autonomous universities under UGC act. So all this information is given kindly go through this information. So our candidates who have obtained a degree in engineering with 60 percent marks in aggregate or equivalent CGPAs system from such foreign university or college or institution that information is also given kindly go through this carefully dear students so the candidate should be required to fulfill the educational qualifications stipulated above before joining ina ajimala by jan 2027 that is what is the information given dear students go through this carefully and medical standards relaxation in height and weight tattoo so please visit the official website in order to go through this information. Selected candidates will be granted short service commission initially for 12 years extendable by maximum 2 years subject to service requirement. That is what is given here. The selection procedure shortlisting of the application will be based on normalized marks obtained by the candidates in the qualifying degree. Marks obtained by the candidate by using the normalized formula mentioned in the Indian Navy website that is what is given here BE BTEC for candidates who have completed or are in the final year BE BTEC marks obtained up to fifth semester will be considered for SSB shortlisting so that is what is the information given dear students shortlisted candidates will be informed about their selection for SSB interview through email or SMS provided by the candidates in the application form okay so the application form will be available from 24th January to 24th February 2026 dear students merit list will be prepared based on SSB marks for all entries as per availability of vacancies and medical clearance for respective entry okay so this is what is the information given dear students regarding training also they have given the information pay and allowances so you can visit the website so all this information is given in the two page pdf dear students so you can go through this information very carefully and only you have to fill one application form don't fill many application forms even though you are eligible for different categories okay so this is very important otherwise your candidature will be cancelled okay thank you all the very best